I am so glad I stuck around. They just brought out a new cart of goodies. And look what I found on the very, very top. Hello, everyone. It's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales, and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark, and OfferUp. It's an absolutely beautiful day here in Las Vegas and we are headed to the post office to drop off packages from eBay, Poshmark and direct sales from my YouTube video hauls. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching my videos and supporting me by buying the items you see me thrift and give you the opportunity to own during the hauls at the end of my videos. It's Friday lunchtime and I am at the Goodwill at Cheyenne and Rainbow here in Las Vegas. It's uh, 104 degrees, about 1.30, super duper hot, but I am not alone. My favorite son is here. Hi Jake. Hi. Are you relaxing? Yeah. What are you going to look for today? Well, um, I'm going to look for maybe something for Miley, then some things to sell, and then something for me. What, what, a, what are good selling items at the moment? What have you had uh, good luck with or what have you seen Mummy sell that's... Crosses. Yes. Glass Christmas trees and owls. Owls, excellent. Well, let's keep our fingers crossed that we can find one or all of those items. And sports guys that wobble their heads. Oh, bobble heads, yes. We've been selling a lot of bobble heads re recently and they've all been going overseas um, with the Global Shipping Program on eBay. That's interesting. Well, are you ready to go in? Yeah. Let's, let's go thrifting! thrifting. This structure right across from Goodwill is going to be a Jollibee restaurant and I have never actually tried Jollibee so that is going to be um, fun to try that. I think it looks like it's a, a fried chicken place probably like Raising Cane's or um, uh, what's that chicken place? Chick-fil-A. But let's go across the parking lot here over to Goodwill. There are a few plants that do really, really well here in Vegas. Lantana is one, and this beautiful plant or bush is uh, also one that does well. It has sort of an amberina look to it. It starts off red to orange to yellow on the same flower bunch. Absolutely gorgeous, but uh, they look a bit busy. Let's go in. The color of the day is gray. I can see it through the window. My favorite cashier girl is working here. I think her name is Christina. Katrina, that's her name. Hi, love, how are you? Let's grab a cart. The color of the week is gray. All gray tags are 50% off. And let's head on back to the hard goods section. I have had a lot of inquiries about which shipping company I use. And I use a company called Pirate Ship, pirateship.com. They let you purchase US post office and UPS postage and print the labels from your home at the cheapest rates available. There's no markup, no fees and no minimums. I find they are much, much cheaper than even uh, post office and UPS commercial pricing. They're really, really good. Give them a try. It's absolutely free to create an account. 
compare for yourself and uh, that is definitely the way I go. Here we are in the vase uh, end cap, so to speak here, and I just noticed this gorgeous little heart. I absolutely love the yellow. It's um, a project piece pottery and also look at this amazing <laughs> glass sculpture. Now it's not Murano, but it's still beautifully made. I love the base. I love the gold flecks inside it with the swirl and it's only $5. I'm just checking it over for any damage and it's absolutely perfect. I'm so excited I forgot to put my thrifting Vegas blanket in the cart. Look at this dog. He's got a little butterfly on his tail. He looks like Giardro. The quality is there. The colors are right. Let's peel the label and see. He is. He is an older Yardro piece for only 99 cents. He's absolutely lovely. Let's pop him in the cart. Let's keep going. This shelf is a bit of a hodgepodge of just about everything. If you're enjoying the video, it would mean the world to me if you could give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below and subscribe to my channel with the little red button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Back here, I am seeing some glass flowers. Glass flowers usually sell really, really well for me. So let's take a look at these three. They're absolutely lovely. They look a bit like daffodils, but unfortunately I am seeing that two out of the three have a massive breakage on their petals. So I am going to leave those. Let's look down here. It's a little doll here. She has rabbit fur clothing, which is a bit worse for wear. The fur is pulling out. But look at this lady. She is a Spanish flamenco dancer and I am drawn to her because my grandmother, my dad's mum, used to have one of these on her bureau in her living room. I remember it vividly. She's absolutely lovely. This one is definitely vintage, but she does have her original little tag on her. Look at that skirt with the polka dots. She's fantastic. Some nice big baskets up top here, moving down into the candle holders. Oh, look at this boozy chef back here. He's a wine bottle holder. How fun is he? Lots of candles. Oh, look at this. This is black amethyst glass. I think it's Indiana glass could be used as a toothpick holder or a shot glass or maybe even for a skinny candle. You can't really see but uh, the black is sort of a purpley color. It's absolutely lovely. Really like these. They sell well for me. I'm going to take that. Moving down here. Oh, look at this. It's a killer whale. It's quite unusual because it's uh, on a rectangular plate. I don't often pick up collector plates, but I'm going to make it an exception for this because I really do like it. There's some picture frames down here. Let's see, that's a candle holder. What's in this box? I love to explore boxes. This one's got bubble wrap. It feels like a candle holder. Oh, it's a glass. It's a champagne flute. Let's pop that on top there so everyone can see it. Some snow globes. That's a, a set of little trays. 
I just ran into one of my lovely subscribers, Glenda, and she found this beautiful piece of Polish glass. Look at it. It starts out purple and green, and then it goes up to this lovely pink and orange. And she said I could have it and feature it on my channel. I'm so grateful, Glenda. Thank you so much. And thank you for watching me. I really appreciate your support. Thank you, my lovely. Have That's gorgeous. Day. Thank you. I can't find something I love. See you this Monday. I'm from Miley. That is M from Miley. Let's keep going. Lots of glass items, clear glass, trinket boxes here, some little covered canisters. They're quite interesting. They're really, really thin glass. Some sort of uh, Star Wars target. It's a vintage rack here. Lots of wood items, shelves and racks and frames, letters and plaques. A chessboard top here. I think that fits on top of a box. Here is a pretty little box with blue flowers. Something inside. It's heavy. Oh, it's a nesting set. It does have some scrapes to the corners, so we'll leave that. Here is a little shelf. I think that's a Hobby Lobby piece. Little magnet, more baskets up top, more racks. It amazes me how every day, every week, they are able to fill their shelves with so many different and new items. I think Las Vegas is such a transient town. People come and go and move through move in and out, that uh, we are so lucky that they donate their items to our thrift stores. So we can have the joy of finding these treasures. All sorts of items. a soccer ball shelf that's a bit worse for wear on top I think it might be missing uh, a top part there here is a little trinket box it's not very exciting <laughs> Apparently, Jake has just found something that shouldn't really be in the Christmas section, but he thinks he can uh, sell it for a profit. And it looks like it is a tumbler. Oh, it's a Minnie Mouse travel tumbler. That's fantastic, Jake. Great job. Very good eye. Minnie Mouse for $2.99. That is a really good find. I am sure you could get 20 to $25 for that. Let's make our way round the corner here into the vases and planters and florals. It's a really big blue vase up top here. It's made in China. I do like the orchids it has in it. Look at this little vase. It's swirled clear glass with a pewter top. Gosh, that could be used for a posy of flowers or potpourri or scent beads or even little Christmas decorations. We'll grab that, keep going. Lots of florist pieces. into the plant pots and colored planters over here. Some terracotta and plastic.
decorative pieces are all modern here. This is interesting. It's very, very heavy. It has sort of a uh, adobe finish that's cracking off. This is a lovely vase. It's quite heavy. Almost has a ruffle uh, top there, but unfortunately I am seeing that it has a massive crack up the side. That is really a shame. I suppose it could be used for some silk flowers. It is a lovely piece, but uh, I wouldn't want to ship it with that crack, so I am going to leave it for somebody else. As I run my nail over it, it's definitely a crack and not a manufacturer's floor. It's a tissue box. Into the floral pieces and metals over here. This is the silver tone section, single candlestick. Last time I was here, uh, I found some vintage little coasters, a set of rose ones and a single duck coaster. But when I looked them up on eBay, they just weren't worth uh, picking up. The set of them was only selling for about $12, so I did end up leaving those for somebody else. It's a little oil bottle there glass, some baskets, candle holders and sconces. Here we are in the mugs and I spy a little red cat. Look how lovely he is and he's only 69 cents. I wonder if there is another one or a similar one. This is quite a pretty heart mug. This is a Hallmark piece. What else do they have? This is a Graydon Hall mug. I do really well with the animal ones of this brand. Elephants and unicorns and owls. But I'm going to pop this in the cart because uh, I want to check on eBay and see if the patterned ones do as well as the animal themed ones. I'm also on the lookout for any other Graydon Hall because as we know, once you've found one of a brand, there might be more nearby. just noticed this really interesting piece with the word breathe etched into the side and it appears to be a sliced off wine bottle. Now often these cut bottles tend to be really really sharp on the top rim but this is ever so smooth and rounded. I really like this piece so let's pop it in the cart. On the end here I just noticed a little shot glass with white trees on it. It's a really nice little piece, very classy, only 69 cents. It has a nice thick base. I like that a lot, so let's grab it too. And I'm also going to pop my phone camera up here on the top shelf where they usually put shot glasses just to see if there is another one to make a pair. We're rounding the corner into the kitcheny bits. I'm seeing some canisters and bowls. Here is a little metal dish that looks like it would have been part of a set. There's a big popcorn bowl set there. Lots of clear glass. 
some miscellaneous pieces. I think that's an ashtray. Bowls and bakers. Always lots of mixing bowls and nesting bowls. There's some jars, some blue casino giveaway bakers. Let's see. Little creamer. It's a big party light box up here. You never know with party light. Uh, most of their items are flooded on the eBay market, but occasionally there is one that is worth a good profit. So it's always a good idea to check. I might go back in a second, get the number of that and check it on eBay in their sold items. Here is a little lidded, possibly a jelly jar. Now that fooled me. I thought that was a vintage English piece, but it uh, appears to be a modern reproduction. The feel of it wasn't quite right either. Just a bit uh, off. This is an interesting thing. What is this? It's glass and it, I believe it's a candle holder. I think it might be somebody's glass project piece. This is actually, it looks like wax inside, but it is actually glass. The whole thing is glass. There's some controlled bubbles on the bottom. And uh, I do like the green swirl, so for $2, we'll take that. Here are a couple of little interesting things. There's a, I'm not sure what that is. It's a cover to something and these are little triangles. I don't know what these are either. Maybe lids to something. What else do we have here? Some little flan dishes. Ooh, down here we have a crate and barrel chip and dip. Very rustic uh, piece. It's red sort of uneven to make it look like it's handmade. It's super heavy and unfortunately these just don't sell very well on eBay. I've looked them up before. Lots of lids as usual. Water bottles and travel tumblers. Not ever such a lot of stock on this side. Oh, what did you see, Jake? That, oh, you know what that is. You recognize that because we've sold them before. That is a uh, buttercrock, isn't it? Yep. Let me just check it for damage. Yeah, that's great. Those sell really well. Good job, babe. Let's finish up this aisle. I just noticed a pair of lovely vintage lamps that I wanted to show you and take a closer look at. Look at these. They're clear glass with etched white roses on them. Really lovely, but I just wouldn't want to ship these. Are these for discs? Maybe? Discs? Push the button. Let's see. It looks like it opens. Let me see. <gasps> oh, Jake, that's great. That'd be great for my cards and my purse. Good find. 
Can I have that? Do you mind? Yeah, because you always have your cards tied. And a rubber band, I know I do. Thank you. Can we pop that in the cart? Well done. A little birdie just told me that they're getting ready to bring out a couple of new carts. So I am going to browse the Christmas section for a few minutes. Look at these. Oh, these are Christopher Radko trivets. I had no idea he made kitcheny bits as well as glass ornaments. These are fun, but I'm going to need to look these up on eBay solds to see how much they are going for. Let's keep going to see what else they have on their Christmas in July special. Last week I picked up a set of three Elvis Presley ornaments and I had such a positive response from those. So many people were interested in purchasing the Elvis ornaments. I'm going to have a good look through just to see if by any chance there are any more of those. The ones I found were sort of swirled guitars with images of uh, Elvis on them. And as I said, they were really, really popular. So many people were interested in those. It doesn't look like there are any more. Lots and lots of other different ornaments though. Always lift things up, move things around, look right at the back, down low, up high, because you just never know what you're going to find. All sorts of wreaths over here, lots of Christmas cards, different boxes, packets. Laurels and ribbons. There's some vintage icicles there. I always have a look at the Christmas stockings because some of them can be worth money. The vintage Victorian tapestry ones and some of the character ones like uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are popular. There is a whole another side to this Christmas aisle here. I just uh, spun around to the other side of the aisle and noticed this little bird plaque that just got put out for a dollar. I'm going to get this for my friend Danny, the niche lady, because she loves birds and she loves little plaques like that. Jake has just found this little plaque for his sister Miley. That is lovely, babe. Good job. I think she will really appreciate that. That's a nice thought.
Well done. I am so glad I stuck around. They just brought out a new cart of goodies and look what I found on the very, very top. It is a vintage Tanala duck planter and it's absolutely huge. Thank you, Jake, for helping me with that. Could you pop that in our cart for us, please? I am going to keep looking here i'll have a peek in these baskets to see what else they have here is a vintage pink depression glass little beehive canister it's anchor hocking unfortunately these don't sell for much maybe 15 to 20 dollars so we'll leave that Ooh, up here, look at this monk. This is a twin Winton cookie jar. He's in absolutely fantastic condition. Look at this. He's only $4. That is amazing. Let's take him over carefully here. Jake, can you fold that blanket over the doll for me so I can pop this down carefully we wouldn't want him to get chipped now and maybe let's do the same on the other side and we'll bring the duck planter up from the bottom there you found a little foxy toy a little foxy plush perfect let's get him carefully up There we go, perfect. And I am going to just have one more peek at these glasses here. These are Beatles glasses. Now some of these sell quite well. They come in sets of four usually. Unfortunately, these look like they've been through the dishwasher and stacked up like this and they have some uh, wear and rubbing. But just out of interest, I am going to pop them in my cart and look these designs up on eBay solds for my own uh, education and knowledge just so I know whether to be on the lookout for those in the future. We have some masks down here. Let's see some cookware. Here is a, a Yeti uh, tumbler. Yeti is an excellent brand to be on the lookout for. This has got a couple of tiny dents, but I am going to pick this up. Let's see. Some coasters here. I thought they were um, vintage metal ones, but they are resin. They have a second new cart over the other side of the store here and I have noticed a couple more little Tanala pieces in this one. There's a little cardinal. Oh, unfortunately he has a chip on his crest. But I am still going to grab him for 99 cents. I will just turn him around the other way so you can't see that. There's a little duck here that Jake has, a pink one. Let's keep checking in here. Lots of lighthouses in this basket. Candles and trinket boxes canisters and trays. Oh, here is a scooper. This will be perfect for bear's food. It's a two cup scooper for 99 cents. Over here I just noticed this craft 
Master Kit. It's a black velvet painting, oil paint by number. It's praying hands. I will absolutely pop that in the cart. We are just doing our second pass through the store to make sure we didn't miss anything. And I noticed this little salt shaker in the kitcheny bits. And I am pretty certain that I noticed possibly the matching pepper grinder over here in the wood section. So I am going to see if they are in actual fact a set. And sadly, it doesn't look like they are close, but not a match. So I'm going to grab both and pop them back in the kitcheny bits on the off chance that someone will pick them up. Let's stroll through the small electronics, the little frames, and take a look at the artwork. This is a very, very large ocean uh, print. I don't think it's an original. Some modern pieces there. A very big bird canvas. That is huge. see what this is back here. That looks like it is a framed image from a vintage book. I'm just going to rest it on my cart and have a closer look. It does look very much like a book page. Over here we have a amazing rustic table. It honestly looks like somebody has carved meticulously these pieces and these two chairs are amazing. And over here it looks like there is a matching sideboard that is definitely all handcrafted. Just a lovely piece in a rustic farmhouse. Lot of work went into creating this. Not really sure how old it is, but I would guess uh, quite old. Here on my counter is everything I found at Goodwill. Bandit is in the box, playing with a tag. Hi, baby. What you got? He's very playful this evening. <laughs> First, we have this gorgeous rectangular orca plate. It's from the Bradford Exchange. I paid a dollar ninety nine for it, and I'm going to ask twenty dollars. These Tonala animals and birds are my favorite thing to find at Goodwill. I get so excited when I see the vintage colors. This gorgeous planter has a bird on the back. It's either a crane or a stork. Just the lovely muted colors are so gorgeous. And these little ones are down here are lovely. There's a little pink duck. 
He has a flower on his back. This little green duck, which I don't think I showed in the video. This one does have a little chip uh, on its tail that has been colored. It's signed Mexico. And this fellow, unfortunately, has a chip on his crest. But uh, as I said, if you turn him this way, it's not even noticeable. I love him so much. <laughs> this large planter I am going to hold on to for a while. Uh, I paid $4 for it and I value it between $65 and $85. These small ones I am going to make available at $20 a piece. Next we have this mystery glass, possibly a candle holder. I'm not really sure um, in what's going on with this. It looks like it has wax in the bottom of it, but it's actually solid glass. It has some controlled bubbles on the bottom. There's the pontal mark where it was removed from the blow stick. It looks to be a student piece where somebody was practicing or learning how to uh, blow art glass. It is very interesting to me, quite fascinating. It has good weight to it could be used as an ashtray or a candle holder. I only paid $2 for it and I'm going to ask $20. I absolutely love a drip glaze as you know and this is a gorgeous gorgeous little art pottery trinket dish. It's signed Lisa and she did an amazing job with the colors she used and the uh, placement of the drip. It's a lovely blue and red right in the center with some browns. There's orange and then some sort of purple uh, color around the yellow. The outside has some purple as well. I paid 99 cents for this and I'm going to ask $20. Here we have our little Indiana glass, uh, amethyst black glass toothpick holder. If I hold it like this, you can actually see the amethyst. Look how gorgeous it is, a purple. I paid, I believe I paid $2 for this and I am going to ask $15. So I didn't realize when I picked it up, I just saw the little trees on the front. But when I examined it, when I got home, it actually says Belvedere Vodka under the price sticker there. So this is a Belvedere Vodka shot glass. I love the white trees. I paid 69 cents for it. I'm going to ask $15. This is a little vase. The top is pewter. It has a little angel, a little angel uh, blowing a trumpet and a little angel with a, a lyre, I believe that is. My, my uh, camera, there we go, there's the focus. It has some uh, holly leaves and a star at the top. It is signed. Rawcliffe Pewter 1995. It's a lovely, lovely piece. Great for a little posy of flowers, potpourri, wax beads, or little Christmas ornaments. I paid 99 cents for it and I am going to ask $20. Here we have our gorgeous little Yardro puppy. I think he's a hound or a spaniel. 
he looks so surprised to see a little blue butterfly has landed on his tail. Look at that face. So gorgeous. He's in perfect condition. Classic Yajo colours and quality. Let me show you that mark again. I paid 99 cents for it. And I'm going to, sh to shoot up some um, eBay sold comps for you on the screen here. And you will see that he sells for between $55 and $85. There is the Yajo Mark, handmade in Spain, 1994 there. So I paid $0.99 cents for this lovely guy. And I am going to ask for $55. Back here we have this gorgeous little cut uh, bottle. It says 750 milliliters on the bottom. It has breathe etched into the side. And I'm wondering, because it has a finished top, if it was a holder for um, some incense sticks or something similar. I think it would make a lovely little water glass for the bedside. I paid 69 cents for it. I'm going to ask $20. Here we have Jake's find. He is becoming so talented at picking up good items. He found this Minnie Mouse travel cup in the Christmas section and knew immediately that um, it was a good thing. We paid $3 for her. She looks to be in fantastic shape. I'm wondering, looks like she was never used at all. Maybe just displayed. And uh, we are going to ask $20. Here we have our little butter crock. And unfortunately, as I washed it, because um, it was all grimy on top, I realized that it actually has a crack going through the top right there, if you can see it. Oftentimes, when you wash an item with a crack, the water will seep into the crack, as you can see, and darken it, and then it becomes apparent it is still usable, I believe. I might use it on my counter. I paid, oh, actually Jake found this again, 99 cents. If anybody, I'm not comfortable shipping it, so I'm actually just going to keep it uh, for us. This is a lovely little cartoon cat mug super duper little face with stars i paid what was a gray tag so 35 cents for it i'm going to ask 15 dollars this is a great mug brand to be on the lookout for graydon hall um, i usually see animals owls or elephants um, often unicorns. I have never actually seen this crisscross diamond pattern. It's a lovely green color. I paid 69 cents for it. I'm going to ask $20. This little bird, spread your wings and fly, is going to my friend Danny, the niche lady, for her bird wall. Back here we have our twin Winton monk cookie jar. He is in fantastic shape. I'm not going to lift him up with one hand, but he only has one small chip 
on his base and it's not visible um, unless you lift him up which is absolutely fantastic these almost always have well oh, there's a tiny little chip there i just noticed almost always have one or two chips somewhere on them he is fabulous i think i paid i paid three or four dollars for him and again i will pop some ebay sold comps up on the screen and uh i believe i shall ask uh 85 dollars for the condition he is in almost perfect over here we have our gorgeous flamenco dancer she is vintage she is the large size she is marin chiclana of spain i believe these were available on the island of uh, majorca in the 60s and 70s she has beautiful flowers uh, on her shoulder and in her hair like daisies little dangly earrings and a a necklace with a medallion she's super absolutely love her big purple dress she does have a little bit of wear to the underside of her skirt just from age i paid three dollars for her i'm going to ask thirty dollars back here we have our black velvet painting by numbers set it's gorgeous it's praying hands uh, the plastic is a little worse for wear, but it's still intact, brand new, in the box. I paid $4 for it. I'm going to ask $30. Last but not least are uh, two lovely glass pieces here. First, we have this super scrolled swirl here. It has gold flecks running through it absolutely lovely i love the base let me show you it has sort of a star uh, etched in it i paid five dollars for this one and i'm going to ask 75 dollars this has to be my favorite find of the day and i didn't even find it my lovely subscriber glenda was so generous to gift this to me in the store. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's rainbow glass, handmade in Poland, and it is actually signed on the base of this uh, piece, not on the pedestal, but on the base. It seems that this has been made into a trophy and the signed piece of glass has been attached to this base I just I can't make out the signature possibly John something something uh, I'm going to have to do a lot more research but if anybody can help me out um, I would much appreciate it uh, let's see I paid eight dollars for it and uh, from a preliminary look I I'm thinking it's worth well over a hundred dollars. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my trip to Goodwill, my lovely finds and my haul. Please stay tuned for some fun footage of Bear snoozing on the couch. Bandit is having a very thorough bath in the box. I think I interrupted him. Interrupted his privacy. He is such a lover. Not sure where Ziggy is. Perhaps I will have a peek around and see if I can find him and get a quick shot of Ziggy for you. Say good night, Bandit. I'll see you next time. Bye.
there is one very sleepy puppy on my couch here. Hi, Bear. Are you very tired? Poor Bear. Did you have a long day chasing your ball? Did you chase your ball today? Did you? Very sleepy. Very sleepy. Oh, yes. Are you very sleepy? Poor bear. Very tired. Or 